Hello, welcome back to Blue Collar Watches. I have another watch. I have been trying to pick this one up for quite a while. I had this in my cart on AliExpress, waiting for a good deal on it, because they normally want $97 for this watch. I ended up picking it up for $63.95. But I had it in my cart for probably two, three months. Uh, be patient. They usually will go on sale at some point. There will be some kind of coupon or discount or I think that's a pretty good looking watch. This is, again, this is the Cadison C8206M. And I have, uh, this is my third Cadison. I like these Cadison watches. And I'm a sucker for this tail, teal blue screwed on crown, hand winds and hacks because it does have an NH35 in it. Let me get all the plastic off it and get it unwrapped and then I'll get some more into the watch. Okay. Got all the plastic and everything off of it. For the price that I paid for this, $63.95, it must have said $64. I think this is a pretty darn nice watch. Again, this is my third Cadison. I feel like they're worth it. But again, just throw them in your cart, wait. They will go on sale. This is what they call version two. And the only real difference between this and version one is it's supposed to have a better band. This one actually does have screws in it, and it did come with a screwdriver to take those out. Let's get into the dimensions of this watch. It's stated at 38 millimeters. Spot on. It says 12.5 thick. I'm getting slightly above that. Is that a crystal? No, it's, that is sapphire. It's flat sapphire. It says that it has a 22 millimeter band. I'm getting 20, so their listing must be wrong. Tapers to 18. And it's lug to lug is I also say 45. Solid steel case back with the Rolex style. Does have the Caddis and Sign crown. I can't speak as to the other band that they had on these. I kind of like this band. The only thing I would like to see the fold over safety clasp on it, but I haven't had a problem with these. I'm going to go ahead and size it and then I'll do a loom shot. Okay, so I got it all sized. It took exactly Two links out, fits me good. I like this band with the exception of not having a fold over safety class. Other than that, it's a pretty decent band. Uh, this bezel was weird. It's the first time I've ever come up with this. I caught seven clicks between, and it's got a, quite a bit of wobble in it. That's a lot. I mean, that's not a little bit. That's, that's, it just clicked there, but. Just click there again. There's quite a bit of wobble in this bezel, but I don't really even use this. So once I line it up, that is the one thing I don't like about that. The bezel is not super great. It does appear to be ceramic. The fit and finish on this watch, pretty good. You got some brushing. Uh, the only real high finish is right here, right on the edges. But for what I paid for this, I think it was a pretty good deal. That's a little bit annoying, though. That's, that's a little bit too much. Now, it is clicking there also, but that's... Okay, let me get a loom shot. Okay, so the loom on this watch comes off initially as pretty bright. Uh, I'm just now doing it, so we'll see how good it, it sustains. That's not bad. Good and bright. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and throw a time lapse in to see how well it actually does do.
Okay, so the loom on this watch is right about where I expected it to be. When I look at a watch on AliExpress and it just says luminous hands and dial, that's about what I expect. Nothing spectacular has loom. Oh, I didn't mention this earlier. It does say this is 200 meters. Water resistance, 20 bar. Again, it's an AliExpress watch. I would absolutely never trust that. I don't go diving with any of my watches anyway. That's why the bezel is not a big issue to me. I mean, I would like it to be better than that. And seven clicks in between indices. I've never really, never really had that occur before. But all in all, for $64, well, $63.95, I think I said I paid for $64. That's not a bad watch. Uh, still cheaper than an Invicta. And I think that this watch has a lot of positives. The two negatives that I would point out is the wobble and the bezel. And I do like this band with the exception of the fact I always like to see a fold over safety clasp on a watch just so it doesn't accidentally pop open on you and fall off your wrist. Well, other than that, that's a pretty nice watch for the money. If you can get this on sale, I would recommend it. If you, I don't know anybody that actually, I have a buddy that even, uh, he does dive and it's, he says, nobody wears those kind of watches for diving. He says, that's what dive computers are for. So I really don't know anybody that actually uses these. Maybe you want to time something you put in the oven or whatever, but other than that, who you actually uses this, you know, maybe throw that in the confidence. Hey, I use it for whatever, but I don't know anybody that actually uses these bezels. But anyway, not a bad watch for the money. And again, I do like this brand. I like Cadison. I feel like there's a lot of bang for buck. And if you find something on AliExpress that you like, that you want to purchase, and you feel like, I thought $97 was too much for this watch. This has been in my cart for two, three months. And I know some, at some point it'll go on sale. There'll be a coupon. And that's what I did. And when I saw it go down to, I think with coupons and coins, I don't know if any of you uh, save your coins on there. That'll save you a couple dollars too. I ended up getting this for $64. So over a $30 savings on this by just waiting. Okay, that's it for now.